So this is just a brief review of the formulas for volume and surface area of spheres. Um, so this one's 4 thirds pi r cubed. Um, a couple things you might want to do when you're putting it in your calculator. You could do 4 times pi times r cubed and then divide by 3. So that might make it easier for you in terms of the order of how you do things. It doesn't really matter. You can also punch in 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. And then surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r squared. So let's just look at a couple brief examples to refresh your memory on how to use those formulas. So volume and surface area of the following shape. So for volume, okay, again, remember, it's 4 times pi times r cubed divided by 3. And then we just basically substitute. We fill it in. The trickiest part, honestly, with spheres is just knowing how to use your calculator. So you just punch in 4 times pi times 4 cubed. Get your answer. So you might want to hit equals and then divide by 3. Um, so just practice that. The answer is 268. We'll round to one decimal place, 0.1. Don't forget, volume is centimeters cubed. So just practice to make sure that you're punching it into your calculator correctly um, to get the correct answer. Surface area is just 4 times pi r squared. Again, you just substitute, and then you just punch that into your calculator, and you'll get your answer. And again, we'll round to one decimal place, so it's 201.1, and surface area, remember, is centimeters squared. Now, this one I threw in just, um, you, you did these last year, but just as a little bit of a reminder. This shape is called a hemisphere, and there's two things you have to be careful of with a hemisphere. If the hemisphere is like this, then this circle right here becomes an extra surface that, no, that didn't exist in the sphere. So when I do my surface area, the normal formula is pi r squared. And then because it's a hemisphere, we divide it by 2. That's half of the sphere. But you have to keep in mind this circle that was created. So we actually have to add on a circle. So really, if you figured out what that was, it actually becomes 3 pi r squared. So be really careful with hemispheres. Um, and then, again, all you have to do is um, sub in. So we can sub in 5, and then we punch it into our calculator. And we'll get 235, we'll round to one decimal place, 0. 0.6 centimeters squared. Um, likewise, volume, and again, the, this is a little bit tricky. We're going to take our formula for volume, 4 pi r cubed divided by 3, and then we're actually going to divide that answer by 2 because we're looking at half of a sphere. And then we can just substitute in. So again, the trickiest part is probably punching it into your calculator. So punch in 4 times pi times 5 cubed, hit equals, divided by 3, hit equals, divided by 2. And you're going to get 261.8, and that'll be centimeters cubed. Now, probably some of you are wondering, well, if I'm dividing by 3 and I'm dividing by 2, could I just divide by 5? And actually, you're on to something, but you're making a tiny mistake. Because dividing by 3 and then dividing by 2 is actually the same as dividing by 6. Think about it. 3 times 2 is 6, so the opposite operation, if you're dividing, then you would be dividing by 6. So yes, you can do 4 pi r cubed divided by 6. So I'll just add that in as an aside. If you want to do that, and then that actually simplifies to 2 over 3, or 2 times pi r cubed divided by 3. That is an option for you as well. Or you can just do 4 pi r cubed, divide by 3, and then divide by 2. Now one thing I want you to keep in mind, if that hemisphere, so for example if I have a cylinder, and that hemisphere is on top of the cylinder, when I do volume, it's still half of a sphere, so it's the same as what I did um, on this example, it's the same thing as what I did here in terms of dividing by 3 and dividing by 2. But if I have to find surface area of this shape, 
be careful because now that circle, so this thing that I'm coloring in red, is now actually covered by if you glued those pieces together. And so the top part is just going to be your 2 pi r squared, your half of a sphere. And in the cylinder, be careful because now there's only one extra pi r squared. Don't add two pi r squareds. So there's just a couple things to think about. Quick review of your um, surface area of spheres and volume of spheres.